Lieutenant Baxter, Vegas PD. A UW P. Culicandis. William Pericles Colocundus. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used I never against touched you in the I court of law. Let me finish before you incriminate yourself. This is America, my father's adopted country. He married two women here. <laughs> uh, boys, boys, come tell Lieutenant Baxter there's been a dreadful mistake made. You're a good-looking guy, Atwell. The pictures don't do you credit. And you are, Mr. Tarragon. Jack Tarragon. Your name's been bandied around so much, I was beginning to think you were a fictional character. You work for me. Excuse me. You work for Nelson. Nelson works for me. Ergo, you were my employee. Got any pet peeves? I got a pet peeve. Stepping on dog shit. Don't even scrape it off anymore. Just throw the shoes away. A luxury most people can't afford. Yeah. Well, you're the new dog shit on my shoes. But he's not the imam. Just a second, Schechner. If he admits to being sober, the government is charging him with embezzlement, the FBI has him on conspiracy charges for masterminding the break-in to Kowloon Imports, and the Los Angeles police want him for killing that man in the mattress store. He said he wanted to sleep like a dead man. Mel, don't say anything, all right? Just... Half a dozen women are sitting in reception waiting to testify against you. They despise you, Sobel. And their husbands are suing you for alienation of affection. Wondering why I chose this particular tale to tell you, Beauregard? To teach me a lesson? It's an allegory. That's right. And in this particular allegory, who is the wealthy merchant? And who do you suppose represents that fucking little greedy coyote. Uh, please, sir, you just... You! You! You and your, your real estate associates! My fucking scum! Sir.